What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to do a van tour part two. I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. Um, the last one done really well, got 39,000 views. It was one of my first videos ever posted on YouTube. So I was pretty gassed about that. Um, quite a bit has changed. Uh, racking, no tube launch art, new rims, sign writing, and I'm not sure what else. <laughs> Before we get started on the van tour, I've got to clean this monstrosity. But uh, this is basically a week of just throwing everything into the van. So I have to drag everything out in order to get started. But I would normally stick it on a time lapse, but I know you don't want to watch that. So I'm going to try this new, uh, new clean up tour. Ready? And just like that, we're ready to start the van tour. Only took an uh, hour and a half. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Now the van cleaning is done, we can crack on with the video. This is my 2022 Ford Transit Custom Trail. Um, as you can see, no more tube launcher, rims have changed and the sign writing. But before we fully get into it, I'm going to give you some cinematics of the van all the way around. So enjoy. So before we go any further, we'll start in the front. Um, we've got some uh, seat covers supplied by Ford. Probably should have uh, done a bit more research before I pulled the trigger on these. Paid probably way over the odds that I needed to, but um, my leather seats were getting absolutely ruined, so I just needed some ASAP. So yeah, these are good. They uh, they wipe down. Obviously, as you can see, you get like stains on them and stuff. They're uh, they're really durable, but um, I'm so sorry about the noise. I should have really gone somewhere a bit more quiet but um but yeah so they're the seat covers um on the floor we've got the ford transit rubber mat supplied by ford as well um i think i paid roughly around 200 i think it was like 240 for the mats and the seat covers again uh, you pay all that money for a van but it doesn't come with seat covers or floor mats so that's good um yeah in here I'm trying to think what else uh, we've got Car play, all that sort of thing. Lost my mind, lost my thought then. Yeah, so I was saying, um, down here we have a three pin plug, 240, um, and it does 150 watts. I don't ever really use it, I think I've charged my iPad a couple of times on it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't pay for that optional extra, it was already on the van when I bought it. Um, we've got stop start, turn off, and a few other controls. Hit your windscreen um yes yeah, i mean it's a lovely place to be and drive i've spent so much time in here dash cam recently added that because uh, i had some incidents on the road and i thought for a 200 pound might as well get one and cover myself um coffee is obviously number one and up here is where my gopro goes when i'm driving or whatever i'm doing a video or i'm doing an intro usually um, my hands are shaking loads, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it really in here. Um, got cup holder. There is some, oh, I, can't, I, I really don't want to undo it because it's aggro to do it back up, but they, this folds down, there's a couple more cup holders here. Um, blood box, card reader, most important thing. Also as well, I forgot to mention, uh, got parking sensors turned off. You can select eco mode or normal mode and traction control off. Um, yeah, I mean, pop my phone on there when I drive, plug it in, get Apple CarPlay, charge your phone, lovely jubbly. But uh, yeah, that's it for the front. So uh, we'll move on to the back. Tell you what, one more thing uh, before we go into the back. These are 18 inch alloys. Um, I did really like the old ones, but I sold them. I think I sold them to my pal for four or 500 quid and put the money towards these. Um, I just felt like they needed to be a bit bigger. Um, I like the design, like the sort of the spoke, the pointy spokes, they look really good. Um, the only downfall is they don't like potholes. Not many tires do, but because of the weight 
and uh, how big the rims are if you hit any sort of pothole you'd probably you're gonna pop the tire i mean when i first got these i got some new tires on these and put them on the van on a sunday on the monday hit a massive pothole popped both of these after paying for brand new tires so that was eventful but um yeah i think they definitely make a much bigger difference than the last ones don't get me wrong the other ones were unreal as well but i uh, just wanted to upgrade these so one more thing i may add i need to get some ford stickers like black ford stickers go on this because this annoys me it's just there uh, it just looks cheap and horrible but i paid like 950 for all four so i don't think that was too bad it's about roughly nearly 250 an alloy um for ones like this i didn't want to get cheap ones because i didn't want to be made out of chocolate and decent decent alloys and i've hit some serious pothole and they didn't crack so yes i've curbed probably all four so it is what it is but um a little bit of black pen in there to make it look nice again so yeah let's crack on moving on to the back it's all changed in here um as you can tell there is no tube launcher on the back of the van uh, on the top of the van sorry so it w what that means is this is my internal tube launcher so i was sick and tired of putting a uh, tube in the van and it going mold like not moldy but it goes like uh, oxidizes makes the copper go horrible um yeah i know i can get a, a rubber lined or like line pvc line tube launcher but didn't like the way it looked on the van it just i didn't like it so i got rid of it altered the rack in because i had some bits that i had in here that i needed to needed homes for so i thought tell you what clear it out let's start again as such on the rack in internal tube launcher which goes around here so it goes from the back of the van and then it goes through here up until the um the passenger front of the passenger uh seat and then i can just slide full lengths in and um, the good thing about it actually uh the carpenter that built all of this car um he suggested that i didn't want to keep this whole thing open uh, because if you put like half lengths or 1.4s or something in there it's just going to get lost down here and you can't really get to it without taking all the stuff out of uh, from under the seat so basically there's imagine this is like the this part of it here um he cut like a big circle uh like opening in the middle so three meters can go in uh all the way and then up to here only 1.4s so i can get basically 1.4 or half a half a length 1.5s in the van um without actually losing them all the way down so i thought that was a really good feature and then with that which meant i needed to switch over um so if you remember last time van vault traffic go away <laughs> van vault was here so i swapped these over so the van vault's here now um because it made sense because the van vault is 1.4 long and this is 1.4 so it meant that can go straight back there and i can use this to get all my three meter lengths down here and then off cuts go around and then yeah basically that's that as well what you probably noticed that this was up here i think it was so took it off put it this side um basically this is the um i think this is the six foot level that goes in here i might be wrong i can't remember what size they are i think it's like 1.2 and then the 600 mil level goes in here both finish the same distance looks cool although if i'm being picky that wants to go to there but goes in a bit further <laughs> oh well here's what it is but yeah I haven't painted any of this because I'm lazy and I just haven't got around to do it. Uh, little ladders in here, a couple of dust sheets. Once again, I'm so sorry for all the noise. It's been quieting down a little bit now. Um, this is still the same sort of, I've added a couple of bits since. So this were here last time. Uh, these are the M18 battery clips. Just clip in and keep them nice and sturdy. So I bought the M12 ones. So you've got the little batteries um, that again, just literally clip, clip in, hold them there. It, it's really for, um, for just, just for looks because all the batteries usually, oh my God, there's traffic. Like I was saying, it really is for looks because nine times out of 10, 
all the batteries go in here um these are just sort of just for looks it, it looks good and for easy as like for easy access so if i want the big one the little ones just quickly grab a battery grab a tool and off you go nine times out of ten <laughs> they're all dead i think uh let's have a look yeah dead 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 come on i must have one that's got some charge yeah trust the yeah the 12 amp to have some charge so uh yeah i'm i'm so bad when it comes to things like this charging batteries always go to use them pick them up and they've just got no battery so i need to get better i need to try and maybe do some sort of charging station in the back but i'm slightly running out of room um wet back m18 wet back uh pack out big crate well not really a crate but box this was part of the uh trolley set i think or i might have bought this extra can't remember um crate they're great just their stores like uh siphons ball wells things like that um in here let me have a look i think i've got condensed fittings yeah i think i've got 15 yeah 15 mil and oh no Uh, 15 mil and 22 mil lever valves oh hang on i've got to try and sort that right that's done now <laughs> i think something's getting quiet i know that's sorted um yeah so free draw crate and then you move on to this side this is sort of the more commercial fittings uh 28 35 these are all clips for all sizes uh 54 42 i think mainly um yeah just a bit of just a little bit of everything uh if we ever come up on a, a late night job or a call out and you need some bigger fittings you've got it all um and we've got compression fittings all done this side um yeah this, so these these are great these are like 200 pounds each but they are so worth it literally is sort of having boxes like that but just more compact and organized um yeah we've got two free drawers two two drawers um i recommend the if you've got bulkier things two drawers are the way to go because they're they're a lot they're a lot thicker compared to the three drawers imagine you lose one drawer but you gain two big ones that's why i basically had either of those this is the deep um pack out box this keeps i think i don't know if you can see that but it keeps uh 28 mil uh press fit fittings in here um because i've got boxes over there for 15 22 press fit fittings so that's more of like domestic sort of side although 28 isn't commercial but don't use it that often so this is all like all domestic stuff that i used on a daily basis this is a um slim light this is half size normal depth um pack out box this is sort of my go-to screws just for everything really um yeah literally everything so if i'm going on to a job and i need screws because it's half size it's easier to carry so i'll just literally grab this take it up to site or whatever job i'm working in and then um yeah and just use that it's 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 handy um another crate this is is like just basically holds rubbish that i've got nowhere really to go um so that just goes up there gets forgotten about drain down hose um and really that's it back here this is a rems press gun uh, mini all the drawers from 15 up to 35 which it does uh, and all the angles as well this is a lifesaver i know i keep doing this to everything but um expression expression <laughs> but yeah th this is worth every penny i think this is probably about two and a half three grand worth of kit um but I'd be so lost without this now if you haven't ever pressed before and you're looking to get into it just do it it's um it's it's amazing i know on the last video um i didn't show you inside of the uh van vault so this is where i keep all my uh, power tools it's back up packed up against the wall every night um so i haven't got to worry about anyone trying to nip my tools but um this is the van vault slider if if you're looking to get one get one they're uh, they're amazing so it comes right out just keep all my tools in here nail gun grease it brian dart uh, skill saw m12 impact m18 multi-tool i just bought this recently as well this is uh the m12 plastic pipe car it does up to two inch um, it's quite good if you're doing a lot of two inch for like your rhinos and things like that uh 15 mil pipe cutter uh m18 transfer pump combi uh leaf blower uh 
yeah, it's, there's our oh, jigsaw, there's literally got everything in it. Um, this keeps my reset blades or multi tool blades laser level. Uh, I don't know if you can see that back there, but that's whole saw kit. Um, the only thing is when you can keep these little crappy blades in, it just gets bent up and snaps. So it's got to be a little bit careful, but um, but yeah, other than that, um, if, you, if you want somewhere to keep your tools safe and things like that, highly, highly, highly recommend one of these because they're so durable um, and things like that. Just so uh, everyone knows, <laughs> this is screwed down to the main uh, frame, so it's, it's not going anywhere. It's absolutely solid, but yeah, you've got to be careful. Look underneath where you're screwing, mark it, little pilot hole, double check it. This is a big wipes container sort of holder thing. Usually have an actual wet wipes in here. And this just usually sits up here, but I've run out of wet wipes. So I need to get some more that just goes in there for the time being as it keeps leaking everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's it for the back of the van, I think. Oh, one more thing, actually. A uh, big shout out to a company um, called Rackout. Uh, they reached out to me on Instagram and basically they saw that I kept having problems with the plastic ones the white plastic um, they're great if they're just to literally hold something in position that doesn't have a lot of weight on it you can imagine these are filled up with all fittings they're very top heavy they kept snapping every time i'd break they'd it'd go this way and this box basically ended up down here um which is very annoying and i don't know if you can see but it's dented all the back of the bulkhead how many times this has fallen over so it's so annoying these are metal, they're, they are literally the best thing in the world. So if you want something more durable um, that lasts longer, definitely hit these guys up. I'll leave their uh, Instagram link in my bio, uh, in the, you, uh, what's it called, description. Um, hit them up, get some, they're, they're amazing. They're, I think they're about 50 pounds, I think, don't quote me on that, I think they're about 50 pounds for the full size ones, but honestly, these are these are about 30 quid these are 50 these will last 80 times longer than these um so don't bother with these ones anymore that's what i'm not going to do a little bit wider um but it spreads the weight out a bit more just just hit them up they're they're amazing good bit of kit cheers guys so moving back onto the side door now um if you didn't watch this video where I installed these lights, um, go and watch it. I'll leave a little link on the top up here. Just click it, watch it after this one. Um, I got rid of the light here because it was shining just on the top and it wasn't doing it no justice. So um, yeah, I did that. Uh, but I'm gonna quickly run through some bits up here because I remember last time people were like, oh, I wanna see what's in the boxes, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna get all the boxes out, but I'm just gonna run through what's in what. This is 28 mil plus, it's not. it. All the 28 stuff's in the deep one was in that, but taking that out now, this is just overload fittings of 15 mil press fittings. Uh, talon clips, nail clips for 15 and 22. Um, this one's drill bits, so uh, like 25 mil masonry SDS bits uh, and like a few grinder blades, things like that. A little bit of push fit on the van just because sometimes you really need some stuff like that to get you out of trouble. This is toilet spares, so like you've got flush, uh, flush cones, um, toilet fixing kits, um, just loads of little bits like that really. Uh, donut washers, loads of little bits. Whole thing full up of silicon and my silicon gun. Flexies for half inch, three quarter. Um, flexies for like taps, toilets, baths, stuff like that. This is my electrical box, so I keep a few spurs, uh, back, deep back boxes, uh, five-way connectors, earth sleeving, things like that, just general stuff that you need as a plumber when you're doing wiring up a boiler or some few spurs. Up here, this is the bigger fixings, uh, screws and fixings. This basically has got bigger screws just back up of that other one, so when that runs out dry, just move it from there to there. Or if I'm on a bigger job and I need more variety of screws, just take that in and the other one and i've got everything covered press fit fittings 15 and 22 and then we've got uh soldering fittings uh, 15 and 22 and then we've got compression uh fittings for 15 and 22 again um in here is um basically just loads of little bits inhibitors uh, some ptfe spray loop ldf um gloves i've got loads of uh, glue in here as well just 
over again. Storage. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands, I think. No, let's do it. Yeah, this, it, these boxes are so heavy, so um, it's really hard to do it with one hand. But yeah, so this is the back wall. Oh, also, um, this one has, this is a slim light pack up box. So in here, I just keep some fiber washers really, uh, gas meter blanking disc, some drain off washers, some spare 15, 22 uh, nut and olives. So yeah, just a few bits in there. And then in this one, I keep uh, electrical bits. So this is like my um, slim light pack up box for like fuses, wagos, uh, clips, and some of these, because these are like gold dust to get hold of. How many times have I gone to put a few spur in? They're quite long, but I uh, put a few spur in. I've lost the, uh, the little shitty screws. But um, I don't know why they've made these like slotted. Why just make it like a PZ or something? It's so much easier. But um, way goes outbeat chocolate blocks. I call them chalky blocks. I don't know what they're really called, but way goes unreal. All right, so we're coming to the end of the uh, van tour now. So if you did like it, keep uh, keep smashing that like button. Um, so yeah, basically in here we've got the M18 tower light. Um, I will get it out, but it's so much stuff in there. We did a refurb recently with loads of chasing. So got like all the uh, all the masks in here and all the dust, like um, sort of like they're not dust sheets, but they are. They they're like plastic sheets that you can sellotape to the wall and floor and both walls and then can contain it a bit more um so that's all in there but this is unreal i think it was about 550 or 600 quid can't remember but in the winter when it gets dark early and you're doing a refurb or you're in a basement unreal it's so good <laughs> can't can't express it enough um blue roll never have enough of that uh in here we've got my soldering bag right at the back and then we've got um two drums of uh five core uh flex and then three core flex um basically for doing uh rf room stats um we need live neutral earth and two switches and then this is just standard uh three core flex um up here we've got my analyzer uh right at the back u gauge bender and this is just a silicon spare silicon holder i haven't quite decided where i want to put that yet um so all before i ordered this rack in before carl did it for me um all this stuff in in these little bits up here had no homes they were just flying around the van it was it was a bit of a nightmare so this was a bit of a fluke when we when we did this uh when we put this in we sort of needed to work out how far over this could come in order to gain enough room weren't expecting to be able to get any of this space but um we needed to bring it off the wall because of the the latches for the door uh, come back so we need to step it out um but this is honestly this is such a fluke when when i open these drawers they literally i don't know if you can see they only just they only just open um but it's quite it is it's, it's very compact in here now uh this is quite hard to get out this is hard to get out but i don't really Oh, there's waist fittings in here, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, a bit of two inch as well, some traps um, in here. I've already told you what's in here, ball valve siphons, pop-up waste, things like that. Uh, this is so heavy and it only just comes out. You have to take it up at the angle, then drop it down, then take it out. But um, I can get over that as long as I've got these in here, <clears throat> these in here because without these, uh, he's got me out of trouble, so many different jobs. So these are a must to stay, but um, yeah that's uh that is pretty much everything other than actually my smaller um i don't actually know what these are called i think they're called is it a tote bag i think is it a 12 inch or 14 inch tote bag um unreal these are class bit of kit if i'm in bigger jobs this comes in this is my uh servicing bag basically if i'm going in for a service or a little jobbing job uh the vo pro pack um little handle one is it's, every, it's literally got everything in there. Screwdrivers in the front, grips, adjustables, pipe slices, uh, junior hacksaw, all bits like that in the back. Um, yeah, this literally goes in with me most jobs. There's nothing really I can't do with this bag other than if I need certain different screwdrivers or like a pad saw or something, that's when this bag goes in. Um, this is the Fluke that we use for electrical testing. Um, it's This is amazing bit of kit really expensive but good it's um we lost without it again um, and this is that is all the stuff that come out that's just 
floating around the van so i'd take that so i could record this but um but yeah that is it i know that was a bit longer than expected but um this time i wanted to do a bit more of an in-depth um van tour last time i was sort of new to it a bit camera shy um yeah so i thought i'd go through it a bit more uh, a bit more in depth so if you did like the video please smash the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one ciao